The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has assured Nigerians of an all-inclusive electoral process as it will ensure that no eligible Nigerian is left out of the electoral process on account of displacement, disability, or other circumstances that may limit citizens from exercising their franchise. Chairman of the umpire, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, stated this at a stakeholders' validation meeting for the 2022 revised framework and regulations for voting by internally displaced persons, IDP, in Abuja. With the 2023 general elections around the corner, the Commission, in accordance with the provisions of the Electoral Act 2022, specifically Section 24, Subsection 1, which empowers the Commission to ensure that, as far as practicable, no Nigerian is disenfranchised on account of displacements by emergency situations. Yakubu said this mandated the Commission to align its legal framework following several developments since the last review and validation exercise in 2018, especially the increased number of IDPs as a result of widespread insecurity nationwide. He, however, noted that this will incorporate not only the displaced citizens arising from armed conflicts, but also natural emergencies such as flooding. Is the increased number of IDPs as a result of widespread insecurity nationwide. Secondly, to incorporate not only the displacement of citizens arising from armed conflict, but also natural emergencies such as flooding. Thirdly, to align the framework with the provisions of the Electoral Act 2022, specifically Section 24, Subsection 1, which empowers the Commission to ensure that, as far as practicable, no Nigerian is disenfranchised on account of displacement by emergency situations. Finally, to align the framework with the national policy on internally displaced persons 2021. Stakeholders at the meeting commended INEC, stating that the IDP framework by the Commission is a demonstration of its commitment to inclusivity, which is consistent with the avoidance of discrimination in the electoral process. Legal provision provided an excellent foundation upon which to build a sustainable and strategic framework for IDP voting in Nigeria. The policy document proposed by ANIC to guide the conduct of IDP voting operations and bring the IDP communities into the voting net is worth applauding and support from all stakeholders. There is need to also improve on the framework and the regulations and guidelines for voting by internally displaced persons, which will drive IDP voting operations for the 2023 general elections. The office remains ready and willing to support the Commission in this drive and in the successful implementation of the framework and regulations for voting by IDPs. We thank INEC for its continued collaboration and partnership. INEC should be assured of our readiness to continually partner with the Commission in achieving its mission of serving as independent and effective election management body. The Commission's revised IDP framework and regulations provide a template for IDP voting operations, not just in conflict zones, but also in areas of population displacement that may have been affected by non-conflict factors. This policy framework further elaborates and reinforces the Commission's commitment to one, conduct, conduct of free, fair, credible, and inclusive elections in Nigeria. Two, the, to propagate, deepen, and sustain the knowledge of some democratic election practices in which the protection of the rights of say, all citizens to participate in the electoral process, regardless of disability status, are protected. Three, to ensure that as much as possible, internally displaced populations are afforded the opportunity to exercise their rights as enshrined in international and national conventions and laws. The broadening of the IDP framework is critical because of the growing population of displaced Nigerians that is estimated at 3,228,000 as at the end of 2021. Annie T. Patrick, Core TV News, Abuja.